Hi and welcome back again to the CLL and H Model Railroad. We're going to proceed with uh, video number two here and that will be of actually using the resistance soldering iron that I showed you in video one. Uh, video one just explained the parts and uh, the assembly and where I got the parts, how much they cost. This video will actually show me using that um, resistance soldering iron uh, in a practical sense. So um, I'm going to solder a piece of track onto some brass tubing. Then again, this is just, uh, you probably would never do anything like that, but this is a practice uh, demo. Um, and then after I do that, I will desolder the uh, track from the tube and then I'll solder some brass wire to that tube. So that'll give you an idea of adjustments and so forth of the dimmer switch. So with that, uh, we'll get started. Let me adjust the video here a little bit. There we go. All right. So as you can tell here, here's my rod. Um, my brass rod and my alligator clip that's the negative side of the welder or the uh, soldering iron I should say and then the uh, track that I'm going to use. Now, I went ahead and prepped this you should always have solder on both pieces so that's pr the, to prepare those pieces for soldering so I've already done that and I've got my solder joint here and so I'll lay this track over the top of that and we will go ahead and see if we get a nice little weld here or solder joint. We want to let it cool. And as you can tell, it's very fast. So it soldered on there really nicely, and it's a very small solder joint at that. So I'll go ahead and disconnect that. You can do it the same way as you're soldering, and voila, there we are. So I'm going to make a small adjustment to the amount of current with the dimmer switch that you well seen in the video, um, the number one video, part one. I'm going to put a little more solder onto the tubing just to make sure that I got a little bit of uh, material there. Okay, um, I'm going to use just a little bit of flux on the on the on the wire. As you can see, this is very thin. And I turned this down to about half of the current and the voltage, so. Let it cool good. As you can see, I'm actually touching this rod. It's it's, I didn't feel any warmth at all. So where it heats is exactly right where the joint is. So that's, that's a pretty sturdy little joint. So with that, that's our video um, of the resistance soldering iron. Uh, if you've got any questions on either one of these videos, please feel free to drop me a line there on my... Uh, CLL and H model railroad page and I'll do my best to get them answered as soon as possible. Again, I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we will see you on the next video. Thanks.